Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Beach FM, and it's wonderful to welcome back the chair of the Parapara Umuid Raumati Community Board, Kathy Spires. Good morning. Good morning, John. Things really happening in Raumati? Yes, they are. Yes, absolutely. The, there's quite a bit of um, surface deterioration at the corner of Rosetta Road, Raumati Road and Matatua Road. And so the council's going to be repairing them tonight. Or Higgins are going to be doing it. And they'll have all the safety precautions out, of course. Um, but it's from 7.30pm tonight to 5am in the morning. So it, hopefully it will be all done overnight. At the same time, they're resurfacing an area in front of Raumati Beach School by the pedestrian crossing. Ah. Now this, yeah, this is all being done in Asphalt. That um, nice at the intersection of Rosita, yes, at the intersection of Rosita around Matty, um, we were hoping that it would last until the roundabout went in, but it, it just won't, so it needs to be fixed. So it's only one night from seven tonight from 7:30 p.m. to 5 a.m. in the morning. So the people at Round Matty will see a lot of difference when they're going through the intersection and by the school now. So that's Indeed. really good. Right. Mm. That is very good. Now something happening at the Green and White Cafe as well. Yes, Summer Breeze Art Gallery is opening up. Um, there is an event on Wednesday night, which I'm invited to, but by Thursday morning, it will be all go, so it's really quite exciting. Um, Bailey at Te- um, approached the Papua and Raumati Community Board for some funding to get this off the ground, and it's really lovely to receive an, you know, an invite to come back and have a look at all the art. So Thursday morning this week, Green and White Cafe, the Summer Breeze Art Gallery, it's called, and it's art from... People in the community from across all ages, and it's just to help them, you know, get their work oh. out there, and and it's great for you know cafes. I notice a few cafes now, you know, they've all got this art up on the walls, mm. and it's really really great, mm. um, for you know, for people to purchase. It's so it's really good. So that's oh, I something think that's else great. is happening. So mm. that's at the Green and Wine Cafe, and oh, yes. uh, you may not have heard Kathy, but. These are school holidays. I imagine that the school across the road from you is a little bit quieter than usual, but that means quite a few households are more noisy than normal. And uh, (laughs) what about the school holidays? Are there any programs available to keep the kids occupied? Yes, well, I thought, gosh, you know, being a grandmother and a great-grandmother, I thought, and, you know, quite often in these days, while parents are working, they we, we often, you know, it's delightful, of course, to have our you know grandchildren with us. So this Thursday, that's first of October. My gosh, it's October already. Really? This yes, this Thursday <laughs> at the Parapara Umu Library, there is a multicultural time from ten thirty a.m. to eleven a.m. So mm. you know that's really good for for children. But also something I found really exciting is the Hell Reading Challenge. Now this is for children aged five to thirteen. They say that they they've got you know year one to eight. And I had to look that up. But it's age five to thirteen, so yes. primary school age children. If children when they go to the library, Paraparumi Library, and ask for a pizza wheel from the library, every time they read a book, they will get a stamp on their pizza wheel. Now when the children have read seven books and have got taken their books back to the library, told the librarian what the book is about. Of course, you don't have to read seven books at once, just one at a time. Go back to the library, tell a librarian what the book is about, then you will get a stamp on your pizza wheel. Mm. When you have read seven books and have seven stamps, you take, you get your pizza wheel from the library, you're signed by the librarian, and you take that to Hell's Pizza and you get a free pizza. Wow. And I thought, what a wonderful incentive for yeah. young people to, to read. I, I think that that's terrific. Exciting. Yes. Oh, it's a wonderful idea. So uh, that is coming up. In fact, they are here. The school holidays are here. And that's a delightful way. Uh, maybe uh, not the best healthy eating way, but uh, a delightful no. way. I'm sure the kids will relate to it very well. And uh, even yes. more so if it's not healthy eating. But mind you, I love those hell pizzas personally. Uh, just yes. before you go, Kathy, wonderful mm. to hear the Provincial Growth Fund has come through with substantial money to renovate the Parapara Umu Memorial Hall. I know. I'm absolutely delighted. That is so good. I mean, our memorial halls are so special to us in our communities. 
and to find that we have some funding to, to do the repairs on the horse, it's just great. Gosh, it takes me back. I used to supervise some teenage um, concerts up at that horse mm. and, and, and you know, it's getting a bit older now, of course, and it does need repairs, but I just think that's awesome. I, I'm, I'm so happy with that. It's brilliant. So am I. So thank you. And also, they're putting substantial uh, money into Otaki, the Civic Theatre. Uh, yes. That has been financed as well in terms of a renovation. So I just think that's excellent because, as you say, they are hubs of the community, these Ooh. community facilities, usually built in times where, well, let's face it, they were built a long time ago and usually uh, through community contributions and therefore very important that they retain their memorial status, really, because they stand for something, don't they? Absolutely. And I did go to boarding school in Otaki back in the 1950s. And I did go to the movies there. And the first ah. movie I saw at the Otaki Civic Theatre was Three Coins in a Fountain. Oh. I have never forgotten it. <laughs> so it's <that's> great. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was lucky enough to actually see the fountain over in Rome. And oh. I must say that you can hardly get to the fountain because of all of the jolly tourists. I suppose that's not the case at the moment. But uh, no. the, uh, And I blame that movie. I blame that movie. I'm sure <laughs> everyone has been inspired by that movie. <laughs> However, that's lovely and great to hear the Civic and the Memorial Hall yes. have got a new yes. lease on life. Great to hear mm. from you, Cathy. Thank you so right. much for your company Thank this you. morning on Beach FM. Thank you, John. 106.3 BGFM.